We've all been there. That boiling rage bubbling up inside the urge to yell or panic when things get stressful. But what if there was a way to stay calm and collected, even in the most chaotic situations? Today, we're diving into the art of keeping your cool. We'll explore five major techniques for staying calm and also five major situations when to keep quiet, even when your emotions are screaming. But before we jump in, let's differentiate these two concepts. The first concept, keeping calm. This refers to managing your emotions and staying composed. It's about preventing that fight-or-flight response from taking over. The second concept, keeping quiet. This means choosing your words wisely, or even staying silent altogether, depending on the situation. Both are valuable skills and often go hand in hand. If you appreciate what we're diving into here, a simple free favor I'll ask from you is to hit the subscribe button and share this video. Thanks for doing so. Let's first discuss the five calming techniques. Number one, deep breathing. It's not just about taking a few quick breaths. Try this. Oh, find a comfortable position, sitting or standing. Oh, close your eyes gently or soften your gaze if keeping them closed feels uncomfortable. Oh, inhale slowly through your nose for a count of four, feeling your belly inflate. Oh, hold your breath for a count of two. Oh, exhale slowly through your mouth for a count of six, feeling your belly deflate. Repeat this process for several minutes. Focus on the rhythm of your breath and how it calms your body and mind. Number 2. The 5 for 3 to 1 grounding technique. This simple practice can bring you back to the present moment and interrupt anxious thoughts. Here's how. Figure 5 means look around you and name 5 things you can see. Notice details, the color of a chair, the pattern on a rug, the leaves on a tree. Figure for means touch for things around you. Feel the texture of your clothes, the coolness of a glass of water, the smoothness of a table surface. Figure three means, listen carefully and identify three things you can hear. Maybe it's traffic outside, birds chirping, or the hum of a refrigerator. Figure two means, focus on your sense of smell. Can you detect a distinct sense? It could be coffee brewing fresh laundry, or even a faint whiff of perfume. And finally, figure one. Name one thing you can taste. Perhaps you have a mint in your mouth, or a lingering flavor from your lunch. By engaging your senses in this way, you shift your focus away from anxious thoughts and ground yourself in the present reality. Number three, positive self-talk. That voice in your head can be a powerful tool. Here's how to use it for good. Oh, identify negative thoughts. Pay attention to the self-talk that pops into your head when you're feeling stressed. Like, I'm going to mess this up, or everyone's going to think I'm a failure. Oh, challenge those thoughts. Ask yourself if these thoughts are helpful or realistic. Would you talk to a friend this way or oh, replace negativity with positivity? Reframe those thoughts into empowering affirmations, like I can handle this challenge or I'm going to do my best and learn from the experience. Positive self-talk takes practice, but it can significantly impact your emotional state. Number four, time out. Sometimes the best way to calm down is to simply remove yourself from the situation. Here's how to make a timeout effective. Oh, excuse yourself politely. Briefly explain that you need a moment to collect yourself. Oh, find a quiet space. Go for a walk outside. Take a few deep breaths in the restroom or retreat to a quiet corner of the room. Oh, focus on calming your mind and body. Use deep breathing exercises 
positive self-talk, or visualization to help you relax. Remember, a timeout is not about avoiding the situation forever. It's about giving yourself a chance to regain your composure and approach the situation with a clear head. Number 5. Visualization Imagine yourself feeling calm and collected. Here's how to use visualization effectively. Oh, find a comfortable position. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Oh, imagine a peaceful place. It could be a real place you love or a fictional world you create in your mind. Focus on the sights, sounds, and smells of this calming environment. Oh, engage your senses. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Hear the gentle lapping of waves or smell the fresh scent of pine trees. Oh, imagine yourself feeling calm and centered. Picture yourself handling the situation with confidence and composure. The more vivid your visualization, the more effective it will be in calming your mind and body. Now, let's discuss five situations to keep quiet. There are times when staying silent is the wisest course of action. First situation, the eat of the moment. When tempers flare and emotions run high, it's easy to say things you'll regret later. Here's why keeping quiet can be helpful. Oh, prevents saying something hurtful. Rash words spoken in anger can damage relationships and leave lasting scars. Give yourself time to cool down before reacting. Oh, allows for clearer thinking when emotions are clouding your judgment. It's hard to think rationally. Taking a step back lets you assess the situation more objectively. Oh, gives the other person a chance to speak. Listen attentively to what the other person has to say before forming a response. You might gain valuable information or a new perspective. Second situation, gathering information. Not all situations require immediate commentary. Here's why keeping quiet can be beneficial. Oh, allows for better understanding. Sometimes the best response is to listen carefully to gather all the facts before forming an opinion or offering advice. Oh, helps identify underlying issues. Pay attention to nonverbal cues and emotional tones. What might be unsaid can be just as important as what's actually spoken. Oh, gives you time to formulate a thoughtful response. Once you understand the situation better, you can craft a more helpful and constructive response. Third situation, respecting boundaries. We all have boundaries, both physical and emotional. Here's why keeping quiet can show respect. Oh, not everything needs a comment. If someone isn't interested in your opinion or seems overwhelmed, Respect their boundaries and keep your thoughts to yourself. Oh, avoid unsolicited advice unless someone specifically asks for your help. Offering unsolicited advice can come across as pushy or patronizing. Oh, creates a safe space for communication. When people feel comfortable expressing themselves without judgment, it fosters deeper connections and understanding. Fourth situation, picking your battles. Not every situation deserves a full-blown argument. Here's why keeping quiet can be a strategic choice. Oh, choose your moments wisely. Is this situation worth expending your energy on? Sometimes letting things go is the best course of action. Oh, focus on what matters most. Don't get bogged down in trivial disagreements. Save your energy for issues that truly matter to you. Oh, maintaining positive relationships. Constant arguments can strain even the strongest relationships. Choosing peace over conflict fosters cooperation and understanding. Fifth situation, 
avoiding gossip. Spreading rumors or negativity can create more problems than it solves. Here's why keeping quiet is the responsible choice. O protects others' reputations. Spreading rumors can be hurtful and damaging. If you wouldn't want someone gossiping about you, don't do it to others. O keeps you out of drama. Gossip often leads to unnecessary conflict. Choose to stay above the negativity and focus on positive interactions. O promotes a culture of kindness by choosing not to participate in gossip. You create a more positive and supportive environment. Why is keeping your cool important? Let's face it, life throws curveballs. But when we stay calm, we can think clearly, make better decisions, and avoid saying or doing things we might regret later. Here are four benefits of staying cool. First benefit is improved decision making. When emotions run high, our judgment gets clouded. Staying calm allows us to analyze the situation rationally and choose the best course of action. Second benefit is reduced stress. Chronic stress can wreak havoc on our physical and mental health. Learning to manage your emotions can significantly lower stress levels. Third benefit is stronger relationships. Nobody enjoys dealing with someone who explodes at the slightest provocation. Staying calm fosters better communication and stronger connections with others. Fourth benefit is increased confidence. When you know you can handle stressful situations calmly, it boosts your confidence and self-esteem. Now, bonus tips. Practice makes perfect. Mastering calmness and selective quietness takes practice. Here are some ways to integrate these skills into your daily life. Identify your triggers. What situations typically make you feel stressed or angry? Once you know your triggers, you can develop strategies for staying calm. Practice relaxation techniques. Regularly practice deep breathing, positive self-talk or visualization to train your mind and body to respond calmly to stress. Observe your communication style. Pay attention to how you typically respond in conversations. Are you interrupting, offering unsolicited advice, or letting others have their say? Seek out supportive people. Surround yourself with people who promote positive communication and respect for boundaries. Remember. Keeping your cool and knowing when to keep quiet is a journey, not a destination. There will be bumps along the road, situations where you react impulsively or blurt something out before thinking. That's okay. The important thing is to learn from these experiences and keep practicing your skills. So, how do you feel about keeping quiet in certain situations? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. If you found these insights helpful, remember to hit the subscribe button and share this video with someone who might also benefit from these timeless teachings. Together let's continue to explore, learn, and grow fostering a life that not only seeks personal peace, but also contributes to the greater life ahead of us. Thanks for watching.